So your wheel's flopping a little bit. Let's take a quick few minutes and show you how to fix this little problem. We're going to start by taking the wheel off. 7 millimeter nut driver works the best. Just take that nut off, set it aside. Take the wheel off, set it aside. As you can see here, we have that rear carrier has snapped. This is an easy fix. Anybody capable of operating a screwdriver can handle fixing these things. First, we'll take that little chunk of the broken off the top. You can throw away the old part. We don't need that for anything. Save the screw. You're going to need that. Then we come down here to the bottom. Take the screw pin out, set it aside, lift the assembly out, and now we have the drive shaft half shaft assembly ready to be fixed. Now that we've moved the truck out of the way, you see that little hex there on the end. You just want to get in behind that with something, small screwdriver, pop that hex off, get it out of the way. You'll see the drive pin. Push that out of the way. Next up is a very small little washer. We don't want to lose that little guy either. Now you'll see the bearings are in there. You definitely want to get those out and reuse those as long as they're in good shape. I just usually push from one side. Flip it over. Push the other side out. There we go, the other part of the broken is gone. Now we take our new part for the Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive. This is part number 3752, I believe. Reverse assembly. Slide that in. Slide that in. Take our drive shaft, push that through. Grab our little washer, put it right back on there, take that little drive pin, shove that back through there, and reinstall our hex. Push it on until you hear it click. Bring the truck back over. We just slide the drive shaft back together. That silver screw pin slides right back in the hole. And we tighten it right back up. Now we have the upper link. Hopefully you guys can see this all right. I'm just putting my fingers back on so I can keep it on the screw. We tighten that back up. We grab our tire. 
shove that back on, making sure it's completely on that hex. Take our nut, our nut driver, and tighten the wheel back down. Don't be afraid to put a little bit of pressure on that wheel, making sure it is tight. That's it. Rear carrier repaired in under 10 minutes. Thanks for watching.